So, I wanted to say that because of all of our previous presentations, I got really inspired and excited and went out there and searched for, you know, some like different price range mezcals that we actually don't carry at the bar and we don't serve at the bar. Uh, but I, I, that I wanted to bring into this conversation uh, so we can get a broader a, a, yeah, understanding of what we're tasting and what's out there. So the first one that I got is these Gracias a Dios. Just got a beautiful, uh, I didn't buy it because of the label, but it just happened to be a pretty good graphic. But it's called Gracias a Dios, thank God. Uh, it's Mezcal Artesanal, this is Espadín. And I'll let you guys kind of like uh, pass the bottle around. So lo lots of things. I know there's people here that know a little bit more about agave, but uh, the species here is Agustifolia. Is that correct? Yes. There we go. And then there's other actually names for espadilla. Espadilla, Tepemete, and Zapupe. So all those are also names for espadines, and I don't think that we've ever talked about that I've before. Never, I've never talked about that term. Never. There we go. These you can find online. It, 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 the price ranges a bit from 39 to 57, but it's still a low-end espadine. So I want you to consider that as you taste it. Um, the majority of the agaves are harvested at eight years, which is usually pretty, you know, seven to eight year uh, harvesting time. It's a double distilled in copper. This comes from Santiago Matatlan in Oaxaca. And it is still by Maestro Mezcalero Oscar Hernandez Santiago, who's a fourth generation uh, Maestro Mezcalero. His mother was the one that taught him how to make mezcal when he was 14 mm. years old. So we have a continuous theme from yesterday of women and actually running the show yeah uh, which is you know i mean not to say it but <laughs> um it takes a village it takes a village uh, okay let's see uh planting so okay so the story behind the brand is that i, I couldn't really tell if it was like a couple of dudes uh but there's like a, a, a couple a group of dudes that opened a mezcaleria and then they were kind of sourcing from different places until they met um, Oscar. And when they met Oscar, they were like, this is the best mezcal we've tried, let's partner. And then they started to make uh, this specific brand. Um, so the plant thing that they do is they do two ways. They, um, Espadín is planted through sprouts and when the plants develop shoots from the roots, they cut and they plant them and um, they transplant them when they're like two to three years old. So that's one way that they're doing planting. And then the other one is that they allow 20% of their wild agaves to develop a quiote, which is, you know, the flowering plant, the flowering uh, or the flower of the, uh, of the agave. And then they gather the seeds and take them to their greenhouse to germinate. And then after a year, they plant them in their fields and they let them, they, they don't harvest them, they let them be. Um, and I think this is a little bit of their way of like trying to be sustainable, um, especially in this era of, you know, high mezcal demand uh, with, you know, limited uh, uh, sourcing. On the tasting notes, um, Maybe I'll, you guys can go ahead and pass them and smell and see what you you taste. I was say, I, I, I could smell this for the entire time. I could smell this from a distance. Yeah. This is this one is fragrant. So uh, herbs and citrus notes. Yeah. Uh, this is slight smoky. There's lots of ethanol in there, so it can be abrasive for some folks. Uh, and it's got a dry spice finish. This is what's out there. I want to really hear what you guys have to say. But a lot of what I read is that for the price point, people really enjoy this. I have not tried it. <laughs> so this is a first for me too. It is syrupy and certainly heavily fruity. 
It's got a long mid body. Uh, the smoke is definitely prevalent. I would say it's peppery on the tongue, like it's not just hot, but physically it's actually warm. it's physically yeah. warm. Yeah. I want to know what lady has to say. She's like, Whoa! she's like not necessarily. <laughs> like, 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 Me? That's fine. I think I think this is. Um, <laughs> I don't like smoky stuff. This is. <laughs> I think it's falls apart like candy on the tongue. This is one of my favorite espadines I've had to date. This is. This is the kind of spirit I would drink at the end of a long upsetting day while listening to sad country Praying music God. or or like or or when i'm hanging out with my daughter's uncles on her father's side <laughs> and we're all trying to be see who's the most macho man it's very like <laughs> this okay. is the one <laughs> uh, so, right, right. Like candy, like a lot of what yeah. people candy are saying they're out there, there too candy. is that this is more of a mixing tequila than a sipping tequila. So it'll be interesting to make some margarita and try it. Um, but I, I think this is a great sipping tequila. This is, uh, this is so good. I, I, I like this. I feel like this one better than anyone I've ever tried. This, is, this tastes to me like a, a really overly fruity culiata. Yeah. That makes sense. Like it tastes like that black pepper bomb. I think it's great and it's really not very smoky. No, of all the this SPDs. is so good. We really can't get this. How much is it? You said best. You said best money for the price point. What's the price point? Well, like I said, you 15, can find it between 30, 30, thirty-nine to fifty-seven. What? As tax and so shipping. it's so it's like the same cost as, as Vita. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! And it's a completely. Way better than Vita. Can I see that bottle? I've seen bottle. Yet. So there's a there's a bar in Austin in Texas called um, Man. Like now, I really want to go to this bar. Uh, Las Almas Rotas. Ooh. I feel like we ha we need a. We need to go. It, it sounds like <laughs> what you were just saying, right? Oh I feel God. like we need to f do a field trip there. It's in Dallas. Oh, <laughs> to Las <yeah>. Almas Rotas. <laughs> Fermented, <laughs> Fermented in pine. Fermented in pine. Less common. I said less common. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, like yeah. Okay. So, anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So good.